Hey, butternut squash. I thought what we would do is uh, do a little butternut squash, a little smoked sausage, any kind of sausage you like, with a little wild rice, and we'll put all of those ingredients together and make a soup. Oh, yeah, babe. Yeah. Fireman, come on. <laughs> so, biggest thing is, is that we got to roast this to get the flavor out. So you got to take the skin. You can either use a peeler, but these things with the winter squashes, right? They're, I mean, it's... <laughs> You're like, hey, should I be eating this? <laughs> yes. And what we're going to do is we cut it in pieces after we peel it. There's some seeds in the hollow there. Real simple. You can do this ahead of time. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little oil, drizzle a little oil on this, Put the oven on about 375 degrees. A little salt. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Some pepper. And you're going to roast it now fork tender. How long? About 50 minutes. Okay? Depending on how big they are. So we roast these. Put them inside the oven. Fork tender, they come out of the oven. You got to let them cool. And that's where we are here. So now I've got all the delicious flavor of the butternut squash or whatever kind of squash we're using. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start the foundation for the soup. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the squash in a little food processor like this and we're going to puree it. So, two things, guys. We could either just use this as a veg. Maybe we want to add a little sugar, a little cinnamon to it, puree it. You don't have to puree it, but this is really going to be the, the sort of the structure for the soup that we're going to have. All right. Now we got the squash. Generally, I find that if you don't add a little bit of liquid to it, it's not going to puree. Let's start with a little bit. Now, we don't want to have it super, super thick, but we also don't want to have it super thin. A little more stock, a little chicken broth. What do you think? Should we add it all? Go, Go for, it. for it. Go for it. Looks great. All right, so now we have that. That's one component. Second component, we need the wild rice. I'm going to use wild rice. We could use regular rice, but it's, hey, it's Thanksgiving, and you guys are in the house, so we're going to take oh, some good... Yeah. Wild rice, stock, about four to one. Because it's really going to take a bit for this to absorb that. And I'm going to add a little onion in here, too. Okay? So there's that part of it. That's component number two. Got the squash, we got the rice. Now, over here, let's start a little bit more of the foundation for our soup. We're going to have a little olive oil. What I did is I took some smoked sausage, cut it up, Gonna add that in there. Gonna take some onion. Add some onion in there. Simple stuff. Do it the day before. Don't have to just wait until Thanksgiving morning. This is easily can be done even two days in advance. So now we want to start getting the flavor out of the sausage and the onion. Now, this is not really a, uh, a usual Thanksgiving ingredient, corn. But I said, why not? And what we're going to do is we're going to take the corn while that's working. I'll show you a little trick. So if we didn't do this, we'd have corn everywhere. Under your feet, under your legs, <laughs> behind your ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the cob, take the corn right off the cob like this, and this clean towel sort of traps the corn for us. You guys with me so far? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like fresh corn. So now we got the fresh corn. Now we're going to go in and start seasoning this and start layering the flavors. And we're going to add a little salt, some pepper. You guys are right back there. <laughs> you didn't get any corn under your feet, did you? 
All right. Once that cooks a little bit, then we're going to go in here with the corn. Another ear that I did earlier. And then now what we're going to do, guys, is this. We got a great foundation going on. We're going to take now a little chicken broth. We're going to cover it. We're going to bring it to a boil. We're going to let it simmer. Here's how we put it together. Check this out. It simmers for about 30 minutes. Really get all of the flavor out of the sausage, the onion, the sweet corn. Got that chicken broth thing going on. Now we're going to build it. The next thing that goes in, see, nice and runny. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add that pureed squash in here, that acorn squash. Oh, yeah, babe. Well, it's not only going to give it this incredible flavor, but watch what it does as far as the structure of it now. So we're going to go in there, start working this around. You see how it's already changed, guys? Okay? So now a couple little tricks. A, we want to be careful to not have the heat too high. You don't want to scorch it. Because now with the squash in there, we've got now solid mass. You've got to be careful with that. Secondly, we want to cook it for another 15 minutes. And that's where I am here right now. Okay? That's where I am here. Look, the heat's not on too high. It's not bubbling. We don't want to scorch it. Then what we're going to do to finish it, the wild rice. Look, it's, this doesn't get soft like regular rice. This has kind of got grainy. That's the way it is. And drain it. Why am I going to drain it? It's all the stock in there. Now I go in here with the wild rice. Oh, yeah, babe. All right, isn't that looking good? Now we're going to finish this. How do I finish it? I'm going to take a little bit of Italian parsley that I've washed. Just going to... We're going to put the parsley in here. That was some parsley chopping music by Doc Gibbs and the guys. <laughs> now you can ask yourself whether you want to cream it or not. Maybe you just want to leave it like this. Maybe you just want a few more calories. <laughs> so I'm creaming it. Because I'm with you guys, we need a few more calories. <laughs> then, look how beautiful that is. Look at the thickness of that. It's just unbelievable. Now, we're ready. We brought the temperature up. It's not sticking. And I'll tell you how I like to serve this thing up. You just take a couple of nice ladles... Check it out. Looking good. Butternut Ooh. squash. All right. Smoked sausage, wild rice soup for the firemen. Yeah.